The third Future Leaders Fundraising Challenge at WHU is underway. Over the course of one week, the teams of our MBA students compete on five demanding challenges. And the students learn about leadership and team dynamics, and they raise funds and generate ideas to support the important work of Safe to Children. So today is the product development challenge. The students have to develop a product from scratch, produce a prototype, and then manufacture it themselves. And the specific challenge here is to develop a cookie or biscuit. The owner of the bakery shows us everything. He explains us the process. And at the beginning, we produce only one kilo of our biscuit. And so we can imagine about what we are producing later. Everybody made cookies at home before, but uh, making a big amount and uh, with all the guys and under pressure is a different story. We have to really prepare a product and we only had a couple of hours. It was like five hours window and we are really stretching ourselves. We still have that full container. What's really challenging on that very first day here is to get the team together to work on such a demanding task under such time pressure. I think everyone worked together really well and as soon as we realized we had to finish all our dough, we came up with a new tactic to make it faster and I think everyone worked together really well. There was no conflicts, which is always a problem in teams. Have a look on them and see the nice brown color, there are very lot of chocolate inside. I think everybody will love them. I think I'd like to encourage more risk-taking, different ways to think and work together. For me as a baker, the taste is the most important aspect of the judgment. Also the appearance needs to be attractive. So I'm really looking forward to actually tasting the cookie. We're evaluating the students on both the uh, objective number of how many cookies they produced, as well as the quality, how good is the taste, and of course the brand, to what kind of people does the brand actually appeal. Although sometimes, you know, you may initially set out with something that turns out to be difficult to implement, sticking to it and trying to keep the team on track with the plan, and seeing it through is a quality that is admirable. Now this leads me to award the scores of today and team number four also receiving five points, drawing a tie and we have our winner of the day. I'll turn it fast with a remarkable six points. So today is the negotiation challenge. The WHO MBA Career Center has lined up three companies that the students need to visit and negotiate donations for safety children. And the team that gets the highest donation will win. Basically there was a lot of research involved on who we are meeting with, which company, which people, what they've done in the past and how they tie in with Save the Children. We were provided with a little information package on the company that we were going to. Yes, and then it was just pretty much a rush to get it all together and um, update each other before we actually went into the meeting. I think that was the biggest challenge. I'm feeling confident and I'm so happy to be here. I can't wait you know, to present and share my group values and everything. We are all from different countries, uh, as you already heard. But we have something in common. I think we have that in common with you as well. We had a great childhood, we had a happy childhood and we are motivated to give that to the children in need. Um, they support roughly around 55 million children. They need to know what they're talking about. They need to have the facts and figures you know, on Save the Children and what the money is going to be for. We want to raise money for children. So we want really to convince you that you, you are doing the right thing and we really appreciate your time and your, your energy to get involved with us. Are you having specific, specific examples of, of um, possibilities where Safety Children could invest the money and how would it then help us uh, being successful in terms of our business model? 
of course we challenged them uh, also maybe with tough questions uh, which took them a little bit to answer but in the end everybody really had an answer to every question even a good answer to every question that made us think as well. Okay, so we made a decision? Yes. yes. Okay. Mostly I'm super impressed by the hard work the students did those last few days and how they actually kept their energy up. It is also very motivating for us to see how energetic they are, how much fun they're having. It is remarkable that you have succeeded in negotiating uh, considerable amounts of money. You know, in total to the day we have 6,000 euros. Our six teams are about to hit the streets of Düsseldorf today with the cookies they baked on Monday to hand them out for donations for Save the Children. It was great fun to watch them grow together as teams over the course of this week and to also grow together as a group. One person stand here and the other ones yeah. try to approach Friendly and as, approach ma as many yeah. people as we can. Is yeah. that what we, we are doing, right? Die haben ja auch selber gemacht, die Kekse. Wenn sie sagen, okay, die ist auch ein bisschen mehr. Wirklich die beste in Wiesberg-Klasse. Alles klar. Ich sag hier noch die Kekse drücken. Alles klar, ne? Schönen yeah. Tag noch, danke. Yeah. Tschüss. In the beginning, just go about your comfort zone. But now we're very clear and now we're targeting, like, uh, we have our target group we would like to approach. It's a lot harder than it looks. Uh, a lot of people don't want to speak to us. A lot of people um, already say that they're donating. There have been people interested that don't have cash with them. Some people give them whatever they have in their pocket, which is like one euro. Slowly it's progressing. Yeah, yeah, it's tough at the beginning, but slowly we are getting better in our role. We are doing a donation for the kids in need. Uh, these cookies are actually handmade by us if you want to make a purchase. You donate five euros. Okay, so thank you. Uh, yeah. Yes, you are doing such a nice thing. This was an outstanding performance uh, beginning at this morning with the fact that your team was the only team that approached me to sell cookies. And I thought, ah, oh, these are the cookies that taste so good, so I'm gonna buy some. Right? And then, um, <laughs> yeah, Shai, you told me the cookie bag is 20 euros. <laughs> uh, okay. It is an astonishing 519 euros and 38 cents. And this makes you, the heart leaders, the winner of today. So thank you, and let's hand over some certificates. Come forward, please. What's really important to us is not only the fundraising results. We want to convince future leaders that there are opportunities to support organizations such as Save the Children, and I am very humbled by the responses I got from this group, how much they care about issues that go beyond the corporations they will work for. And to me, that going forward signals that these are real future leaders, and I wish them all the best. Has enormously impressed us throughout the week uh, with their fantastic achievements, and so I'm delighted to call forward the winners of the 2017 Future Leaders Fundraising Challenge. Alternative Faves. The Future Leaders Fundraising Challenge here at the WHU is now over. The students have learned about leadership and team dynamics 
And through their work on these challenges, the students have supported the important cause of Save the Children. Now, equipped with these experiences, the students are ready to begin their leadership journey here at WHO. These are all the things that we're going to learn in the future, the strategy, oh, yeah. the negotiation. And it's great to start off like this, because then one year down the line, we can always turn back and say, well, this is what we've learned. <laughs>